So hey all, I thought we'd jump in here and take a look at the fonts on the VT132. It implements the you know the deck fonts and VGA fonts as well. So let's just dive in and take a look. So the first thing to look at here is again back around at the print screen or the setup via uh, alt print screen. And if we uh, use the five button to move through to set up C where the fonts are, we can see that our current font here is called that down here is the deck VT100 VT220 ROM. Uh, and we can see an example of it down below. And we can toggle that with the two button here, or, or keypad two, or geez, key two, to be the VGA. You know, PC code page 437 of the VGA ROM. There's been a lot of work go on. Uh, with the beta to get this VGA font as authentic as possible. Uh, the deck font, if I toggle it back here, is really spot on. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at, at the deck font and, and the various variations of it. So let me get out of setup here. And I've written a little program here called font that displays the various fonts. So what we have here is character 33 decimal to 100 decimal across here. And 101 to 126, 127 is a delete, and then 128 to 170. And then attributes are going to be applied to fonts. So there's the UK G0, the UK G1, US G0, etc. Special, alternative, and, and ROM. And if you look at the UK one here, G0, you'll see that in the US it's a pound sign. It's replaced with the, the British pound sign here. But overall, the fonts are, you know, these are pretty consistent. Uh, there's some changes over here. So... Again, this is the deck font, but you can change between these various fonts here uh, on the fly, and you can mix these on the screen as well, as I've done here. So, you know, this is all G0 font UK, and this is all UK G1 font. So you can see here, you, you know, there, there, there's some subtle differences. There's a whole lot of differences down here with special characters, uh, you know, other languages, that kind of stuff. And, and we see the same thing down here, where in the G0 special, there's line drawing, uh, symbols here that's greater than or, equal, or less than an equal greater than an equal pi not equal there's some math symbols here uh, you know line feed new line called out there's these i don't really know what these are for 80 81 82 out here to a zero you know but very special characters so let's move on to the second half of this font set and that's what's displayed here is character decimal 171 to 235 and then 236 to, to 255. Uh, and again, you can see in some of these, you know, like down here, there's definite variations in the fonts. Uh, but it gives you a, you know, a pretty large set of characters to pick from, one quarter, one half. So this is very true to the, uh, I, I'm a, what this literally is, is a copy of the character ROMs from uh, the VT terminals and then map into the engine here. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So I'm going to bring part of the VT100 manual up on screen here. Uh, and we've got it being captured. So one of the things that the VT100 does is called dot scratching. So in, in, in the character ROM, I've got the pixels here for this A. And what happens when these are rendered to the screen is they do this doubling of the pixels uh, along the horizontal axis only and that kind of that's what produces that very distinctive font so the emulation is doing the same thing he, he's, he's doing the font doubling or, or you know the pixel doubling here or as they call it dot scratching in the emulation and it helps give you a a much closer to the real thing font you, you know i believe these are extremely accurate because this thing that was done in hardware in the vt100 Oh, excuse me, it's actually done, you know, in the software emulation. So let's get back to uh, the terminal here. And let's clear the screen. And let's jump into setup. And let's bring in the VGA font. So I'm going to hit 2 here to ch change it around to the code page 437, get back out of setup. And we'll run that same program. And... There's differences in the font here. So now we're in the VGA font. And as I've said in a previous video, if you were using the Wi-Fi modem on the VT132 to you know, talk to a BBS out on the internet someplace, but expected VGA font and uh, you know that character set, this gives you that font. 
you know, that character set. And again, you can see I can actually apply these attributes to it. And in this case, I can get back to this, uh, the G0 ROM, and this is where I get the more robust set of line drawing objects with the single and double lines and that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, alpha, beta, uh, pi, uh, sum, I don't remember what the E stands for, but summation, checkerboard, etc. You, you know, there's a wide range of characters here that can be picked from. Uh, we've got some, some card symbols down here you might recognize from some of the early DOS-based card games. Uh, so again, you know, that takes a look at the VGA font with these attributes. We can move on to the second page of these and see again, you know, you know a very robust set of line drawing, uh, some fills, double greater than, less than, uh, a lot of math symbols. So there's just all kinds of stuff here. So again, you know, very, they worked very hard to get the VGA font as close as possible to the real VGA font. There's some technical things that make it slightly different, but honestly, to my eye, it looks fine. So the last thing I want to jump into here is kind of comparing the fonts side by side. So what we have on the screen here is screen captures of the various fonts. Up here, I have the deck font, the deck font over here again, the VGA font, VGA font, deck font, deck font, and the VGA font, and VGA font. So this really gives you uh, kind of an eye chart here, a very possible character that can be generated. Now, keep in mind that you can have the deck font displayed or the VGA font. You can't intermix between these. Uh, but, you know, there, there, there's a huge variety of characters here. If I wanted to do a lot of robust line drawing kind of stuff, I would use the VGA font. So really, it, it, you know, uh, lots of application here. The VGA font is an extension. The VT100 and deck series terminals didn't support, as far as I know, VGA fonts, at least back in the era when I used them. But it's really nice in the VT132 to have the ability to get these VGA fonts. Uh, it just adds extra capability to the machine that, that's really nice. So like I say, I know this is a bit of an eye chart, but you can certainly see, you know, there's definitely differences here, deck to VGA. Uh, they, you know, like I said earlier, they put a lot of work into these VGA fonts to make them look as crisp as they do. I, I will say again that the video capture device I'm on does make the fonts a little muddier than they are when you're displaying actually on on a VGA screen. I keep that in mind. Uh, but, you know, there it is. Uh, you know, fonts is implemented on the VT132, VT100 terminal emulator. So uh, with all this said, I think I'll wrap this up here and we'll talk soon.